Hi there, Sonia Boko here. Welcome to my channel where I share with balloon artists how to make beautiful balloon art. Today though is an exception because we are going to make some spooky balloon art. I'd like you all to meet my friend Skid. He is from the Roblox game Friday Night Funkin'. And today we're going to learn just how to make this spooky character. I would rate this design suitable for an advanced beginner, but I encourage anyone of any skill level to give it a go. <laughs> Let's now look at exactly what you need to do to make this design. Each balloon is inflated to approximately this long. They don't need to be identical, but close enough is pretty good. I have inflated two 260 balloons from the Vitalik range, and we're going to start with two pinch twists followed by a four finger bubble and a pinch twist. To create my first two pinch twists, I'm just gonna make two bubbles and grasping the knot, twisting it around and passing the nozzle and the knot through. Twisting those two the opposite way will create two pinch twists for me. Next we have our four finger bubble followed by a pinch twist. Now, if your black balloons are a little bit like mine, the quality unfortunately is very low. I've been finding that with both brands that I use. So hopefully we don't get too many pops here. Make sure that your balloon is not too tight when you do your twists, especially with the black. Probably saw it in my face. Now we're gonna repeat this with the other balloon this time. Now that we have our two, we're going to bring them together, place one on top of the other, and twist at each pinch twist. If you are feeling brave, you could put a second pinch twist on either side, but after too many pop balloons, my bravery level is down at cowardly levels. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it just like that. Okay, now for this next part, we're gonna do a small bubble. We're gonna do about a half inch bubble. So about as half wide as it is tall. Followed by another pinch twist. And we're gonna repeat that on the other side too. With our two arms pointing towards the top here, we're going to have our pinch twist, bubble pinch twist. And now we're going to make a couple of bubbles the same length as these top ones we've done here. I'm just going to make sure this is nice and soft and not too tight. That can help to ever so slightly reduce the poppage that is occurring. Taking that twist and joining it into the pinch twist right here. And repeating with the other balloon and taking it across and into that pinch twist. I like to, when the balloons are behaving like they are, twist off the bubble first and very gently ease in and around the rest of the balloon. Next is the legs and you guessed it what we do on one side we're going to repeat on the other. Four finger bubble followed by another pinch twist. Oops. <laughs> and see what I mean. And just like spooky magic. Four finger bubble. Pinch twist. And followed by a pedal twist about three fingers wide. Finish it off by joining it into the pinch twist and finally repeat for the last side. So 
if you have successfully gotten to this point with black balloons, pat yourself in the back because, wow, like me, you have earned it. Go ahead to remove those excess. <laughs> so now you don't want to break. Okay, that's funny. So funny. straighten it out and with the feet what we just want to try and do is help to make the feet point up a little bit ever so slightly just like our inspiration characters to do so I'm just going to gently pull apart the petal and just allowing it to sit or rest in there and repeat that has gone a bit um, a bit uneven let's just adjust the foot so it looks the same again perfect okay so next we are going to get into doing the hands just trying to match the sizes of those as closely as I can and to help keep it round I'm just pinching in very close to the inflated part of the balloon and twisting around a few turns and let's add the hands you guess it, they go in at the pinch twist. We need it nice and close as possible. Like me, you can go around to play with the positioning of the arms, but what you do want to do is try and make sure that those white hands are facing forward so we get the illusion of just seeing the round spheres like they do in the original characters. I think that's looking pretty spooky, but let's add the head. For this, as I'm allowing the air to go into the balloon, I'm just holding nice and securely to help encourage most of the air to be in the main part of the inflated bulb. Reducing the size of that bubble. While trying to maintain it to be as round as possible to help it stay true to the character design. What could be a lot of fun is using a 11 inch round. This one uses five inch rounds, but we are going to incorporate into the body by passing the nozzle through and attaching it in at one of the hip pinch twists. The trick here is to, when you pass it through, is to pull it nice and firm and secure, nice and hard up against the black 260 balloon here to help encourage it to stay in the center. So I am passing it through both balloons firm and snug and now I'm going to pass it into this one over here. For our friend Skid here, the artwork is pretty straightforward and yet very effective. So I'm going to be using two different markers here and they're not my usual ones but I cannot find my usual ones but these will absolutely do. So I have a white chalk marker as well as my black uh, Rakugaki pen which is a made for balloons. I'll pop a link in the description bar below as to where I purchased mine. Normally I might use a black Posca paint marker or my permanent black Sharpie. We're going to start the design by doing his eyes. So we got here the whites of his eyes and we're going to add the darker He is a bit kooky and he has eyes of two different sizes so we are really going to play that up in the drawing of the design. We then go ahead to colour in all these areas black. So I don't think the coverage is ideal however it definitely does the job. And now we're going to do his very big smile. a little crooked there but let's straighten it up a bit and he just has a couple of lines to 
to finish off his look. Ooh, looking pretty spooky. Just how I like it. And then we're going to draw on his little bones. Oh. Managed to pick up my black chalk marker instead of my white one. <laughs> so I've got my white chalk marker now. And let's pan in the lines. Simply cute. <laughs> I'd like you all to meet my friend Skid. He is a character from the Roblox clan. I'd like to introduce you all to Skid, the character from the popular Friday Night Funkin' Roblox clan. I'd like you all to meet my friend Skid. He is from the Roblox clan. 